Trafficking in persons, Naktib, has unveiled a new short film as a means of sensitizing the public on the rising trend of organ trafficking. Speaking at a movie premiere, Zonal Commander, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, Naptic Legal Zone, Comfort Agboko, said the objective of the short film was to deter the crime of organ harvesting, create awareness and legal steps to ethical organ donation and transplantation, as well as inform those at risk on available reporting channels. The movie premiere also featured a panel discussion with focus on the subject of organ trafficking. Human trafficking for domestic services that is underage is becoming alarming. Most especially from the north, especially those states of the north that have um, this, that, they, that are involved with terrorism, banditry, and others. And I'm happy that something like that featured in the film. And for the other uh, guy that um, that prosecuted for sport, uh, activities, sporting activities, that too, we will advise as an agency that anytime anybody comes or you want to japa, we are not saying you don't japa or inapti, but if you want to japa, japa in the right way. The need for partners to work together. I know we're already working very closely with NAPTI, uh, working with all different stakeholders who come into contact with persons in need of opportunities, whether it's young people searching for better opportunities for work, for sports, whether it's even those seeking to support their children for better opportunities, that at least to sensitize more communities on the ways in which they should go about it. How do they go about accessing these opportunities? So I think information is quite key. And actors to work together on this. Um, that's one aspect in terms of the prevention. I know uh, the zonal commanders touched on the issue of prosecution. Um, also the issue of protection. Because like many other children like Zanifa, perhaps going back home might not be an option, the suitable option, because maybe the, the father might again meet somebody else who offers them a similar opportunity. So looking for ways in which how do we provide more safety nets for these children and also sensitize their parents and work on more durable options for them? Because some of them are pushed by socioeconomic factors and others, other vulnerabilities within the household. So working together, um, as we have had with actors in the past, uh, is something we should definitely scale up. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.